Who knows? Who knows? Put out jail tapes. Hey, you saw a uh, game when I uh at Rick Ross today? You think that was the Rick Ross? Come on. They say he was talking about me. <laughs> they said, hey, who are you talking about? They said this shoe fits a lot of people. <laughs> that was funny. It was like, nigga, he talking about you. I said, wait a minute. Do you, do you got it? Do you got the screenshot? Of uh, the, what he said? Again. Uh let me find it. Let me find it. Hold up. BBL Drizzy. Who knows? I thought he was talking about academics. That's what a lot of people were saying. I mean, I, shit, who was he do talking we, about? Do we know who he's talking about? Does anybody know who the fuck he was talking about? That's the question, because it could, it could, the shoe fits a lot of people. He said it'd be the fat niggas with the skinny legs always running their mouth. The shoe fit a lot of people. That's what I'm saying. It could be me. It could be you. It could be, it could it could be, be yeah, academics. Yeah. It could it be could Rick be. Ross. <laughs> it could be Flacco. Well, Flacco don't got skinny legs. Nah, hell no. Nah. Eliminate him. Scratch him off the list. It could be a lot of motherfuckers, bro. But who do you think, though? That's the question. Who do you think? I why, think why would he go at Rick Ross? But then people are saying, like, I haven't seen it because I haven't been paying attention. But they are saying, like, game has been showing signs that he's riding with Drake. Have you seen anything like that? No. I feel like I feel like Chuck is a uh, vocal nigga. If he was I haven't seen behind that. somebody, he's going to say that. Yeah. I feel like his silence is letting it know, like, I'm cool with both of them. I'm just going to stay out of this shit. No, because somebody said uh, when Drake was supposed to drop his last record, not the one that just came out, um, not the one he just dropped, um, but the one before that, he said, when everybody was saying the nuke was coming. Yes. When that was, like, the whole campaign from um, academics and all that. Oh, Drake's dropping tonight. They said he dropped... He dropped something on his uh, page, like, um, get ready, it's coming or something. It was some shit, and they was like, oh, he's siding with Drake. It was some shit like that. Uh, well, I'm like, I'm like, nah, because Game is very vocal. He's very vocal. He's going to ride to the max and if he's Chuck, riding. And Chuck is is a, is a is Compton for life. He is, I I I can I cannot see uh, Chuck going at, at Kendrick in any type of capacity. And then, yeah, I mean... Even if uh, they, even if he even if he didn't like him, yeah. I couldn't see him going against the. Me neither. He's too important to the coast Me to go against the coast. Me neither. I think he knows the importance of this moment. Yes, and he wouldn't like ruin that by like. Even like YG, nigga, you don't even see YG saying nothing about yeah. it. That I think like, every West Coast artist understands, like, except for one. Which West Coast artist? Martin Nasty. <laughs> he didn't understand the importance. <laughs> He didn't understand the importance of Bro, riding with that. When that shit, I was like this. Like, ah, oh, no. Nah. You about to drop some records, nigga. Like, yeah. come on, You got man. the Drake fans like, he's a man of his own. I, we applaud him for that. Yeah, take your ass to Toronto. Ah, like, oh, shit. Yeah, like, nah, that's, mm-mm. Hey, well, nah, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. But listen, uh, the reason why I think Chuck was talking about academics is because, you know, Ack is very vocal on Drake's side. You know what I mean? So I feel like he's just like, he got the most to say. He's been at the forefront of this shit. But then again, too, like, if Ross is going against Drake, why? what does that have to do with Chuck? Like, what relevance That's is that? what I was trying to figure out. But I'm like, Rick Ross do got skinny ass legs. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm like, why would he go at Ross? <laughs> why would he go at Ross, though? For no reason. And that's why I was like putting two and two together. And somebody, when I was asking that shit, somebody was like, you know, maybe he talking about Mark. And like he been he been throwing subs, he been throwing subs in in favor of Drake. And I was like, I haven't seen it because I, I haven't been paying attention to like. But I'm like, I don't see that happening. Drake did shut him out, my nigga. But Chuck I will say e. this. But I will say this: if that was a spin over into like a side beef, that'd be a good one. If what Ross versus Gay, Chuck on beef shit, it'll be a good one. Look. Ross Ross got it. Ross got it on the social media side. <laughs> niggas, niggas on the rapping side, niggas ain't fucking with Chuck, bro. That nigga with, is disrespectful. Not, not with no beefing. When it comes down to beef, oh, he's going there. And he gonna try to find you and beat your and ass. He gonna try to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Chuck is an angry nigga, bro. He ain't about to sit there and go back and forth with you rapping. Call that nigga Chuck a pedo. See what he do to you. He gonna come find your ass, nigga. That nigga's a bad man. Him and Whack One Hundred, nigga, might be Ray J stumping your ass out too, nigga. Like nah, nigga. You gotta you gotta remember that nigga Chuck did three hundred bars, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 